Okay, so our students are going to need a little bit more direction um, than maybe the upper grade classrooms. So what uh, it, I recommend is to have a an audio where the students are able to click, kind of like this one. So I'm going to click play. So the way I got my answer is by doing A, B, C, and D. And I would do this for my students. Um, and I, the way you do this is by clicking this online voice recorder. It's just a, a, a web address. And what you do is you click this red button. This is how you do this assignment, students. You would just be a little bit more <laughs> clear with your instructions. And what you do is you click Save. And then you go to your drive where you want to um, store your audio. And what you do is you create an audio files folder. That's how you can kind of stay organized. And then you drag your audio file that's saved to your downloads. And you right click to share. And then you can change the link to uh, anyone in this group with this link can view. So I'm going to allow them to view this, and then I'm going to click Done. And then I'm going to go back to the PowerPoint. Let's say my students need to complete this page, and they need help on what to do. I'm going to insert that audio that I just recorded for them, and I've already given them the permission to, to listen to it. And so and I clicked it. And I see it right here, but I'm going to make sure that it starts playing automatically. So they don't even need to click play. It clicks, uh, it starts playing automatically. And then I want the volume up and I want it to stop on slide change. So once I change the slide, I want it to stop. And then I'm going to exit. And just to play it, I want to make sure it's the right one. Hi class, welcome to week one. Today you're going to be doing this activity. Okay, so that was just one of the recordings I did. What you can do, I'm going to delete it, is you're going to <laughs> uh, spice it up a little bit and add your Bitmoji if you have one, and then put in a speech bubble so the students get a visual on what that means. And then they'll get an idea once they play it a couple of times. So that's how you record.